Hello, this is Atul and you're watching Frankly Curious. If Earth is really spherical, if it is round, then you got things on top of that sphere and then you got things on side of the sphere and then you got things at bottom of the sphere. When I say things, it can be people, it can be stones, bricks, sand and stuff. So the question is, why aren't the things on the sides of the earth and the bottom of the earth not falling down if earth is really spherical? That's the question. If you want the answer in just one word or one sentence, then it's because of, you know, you might have heard about it, gravitation. Before I give an elaborate explanation to this question, I am going to say a few things about gravitation. Gravitation is the force between anything in the world, anything in the universe that has mass. M-A-S-S, -S, mass. Uh, before I uh, move on, let me just clarify. Mass and weight are two different concepts about which uh, I will discuss later on. But for the time being, I want to fix my focus on mass. Gravitation is a force between anything in the world, anything in the universe that has mass. May it be a piece of wood or a piece of rock or a book or a person or it could be even a thing that is as tiny as an electron or a proton or a neutron like things. Or it could be big things like trees between buildings. All these things have mass or it could be between bigger things like earth and moon and sun and other stuff. Let me say one more thing. It is uh, always, it is always an attractive force. It always attracts. Gravitation is a force that attracts. Now, gravitation can be expressed in English the way I'm doing right now it can also be expressed more precisely and more efficiently using mathematics which I'm not going to do now I'm just going to stick on with my English now gravitation is a force which is very similar attractive force which is very similar to the attractive force between a piece of iron and a magnet you will experience an attractive force between those two bodies. Gravitation is very similar to that. And now the question arises, then why aren't the things around me getting attracted and getting stuck together? Why aren't they coming all and getting stuck together? They're all there. Nothing is coming together. Nothing is, I don't feel any force. Why is that? Well, the answer is, the masses that we see around us are not massive enough for the force of gravity to be visible explicitly. There is a force between every object that is around you, between this camera in front of me and me. There is a gravitational force, but that force is very, very, very small, negligible, approximately very close to zero. Therefore, you don't experience it. The force of gravity becomes relevant and significant and visible and experienceable only when we consider very, very massive bodies like Earth or Sun or Moon, such big things. They are really big and they are really massive. That's the most important thing. Size does not matter. It's their mass that matters. Now let me come back to answering our question. Earth is really massive. The mass of Earth is a big number. Let me try to say it. It's 5900000000000. Okay, I forgot. Anyway, it's 23 zeros after 59. So it's like 59 and then 23 zeros. That's a big number. So in science, we have an easier method to say it. Uh, we, I can say it as 59 into 10 raised to 23 kilogram. That's the mass of Earth. 
59 times 10 to the power 23 kilogram. That's the mass of Earth. Now, for such masses, the force of gravitation becomes really significant. So, since Earth is so massive, it attracts everything around it. It attracts the things which are nearer to it, like the things uh, that are on the surface of the Earth, like us and the things around you. It also attracts uh, celestial bodies like the Moon, to be more precise. Earth attracts everything around it towards its center. Earth attracts everything around it. It doesn't matter whether the body you're considering is on top of the sphere or on the side or on the bottom. If it's on the side of the Earth, the attractive force will be towards the center of the Earth. Imagine the Earth is over here. So this body at the side will have a force of attraction towards the center. So the force is in this direction. That's why this body over here does not fall down. Now that brings me to the next concept. There is actually no such thing as up or down when you're considering Earth from a very far away position. Up and down does not actually exist. It's just space. It's all space. And you have bodies around the Earth. They are just attracted towards the center. We use the word falling. The word falling is also irrelevant here because falling is something that we witness as getting attracted. It's a motion or in a little more uh, complicated terms, it's called acceleration. Falling is basically a body accelerating towards the center of the earth because of earth attraction. So it's basically earth attracting it. It's not falling, it's attracting. That's what's really happening. So the whole question itself doesn't really make sense to reality. The question was, why don't things on the sides fall? Things don't actually fall. Things just attract towards the center of the earth. So if you have earth over here, and if you have a body over here, there is no force that is causing the body to accelerate in this direction, downward. Earth is over here, so the attraction is in this direction. That's why it doesn't matter where the body is. The body will always come towards the center of the Earth. That is the answer to this question. That is what I know regarding this. So I just wanted to share this piece of information with you. And I have done it. The whole idea is gravitation. Gravitation has got many more applications. Actually, a lot to say about gravity. I'll just stop here. Thank you. Thank you for watching.